All right, I got access to Sora 2. Let's talk about it. This is the biggest AI video launch since at least VO3. Sora 2 is kind of a surprise for everybody today. We expected this was going to come, but let's just first talk about what's in the video. First, it's audio, just like VO3. When you create clips, you can hear them. Check out this video that I made of Sam Altman wakeboarding. It might look familiar with an American flag. Happy Sora 2 day, everyone. And there's a very cool new feature called Cameo, which allows you to record yourself saying a few numbers and then moving your head around a little bit. And then you are able to upload your image to be used for yourself or for other people to remix you into Sora videos. What I do like about this is they allow you to really limit who can use these things. Before they go public, you have to have the ability to approve your use in them. The homepage has a lot of fun things already. I have seen some IP, which is interesting. There's a bunch of Pikachu videos, but I tried to generate something with Darth Vader. It would let me do that. Like any AI video generator, there are some that work better than others. Here you can see me trying to take myself and Sam Altman, putting ourselves together into one place. And it had a couple versions of this that weren't great i did get this version at the end weird world we're entering huh yep shall we yep the cameo thing is really fascinating though I'll, i took this prompt a pretty simple prompt and i put it into cameo with my face and i got this output which is actually not bad at all sora two sora two darling i'm calling to you sora two sora two you're the one i can't lose they found me. Now, that voice at the end, that is not me. And you might have heard there was a number at the very top of that audio, which means I might have to redo my own cameo. It sounds like one of the numbers got put in there instead. I was very lucky to get access to it early. It is going out on a rolling invite basis. So you need to have an invite code to get in. But I do think this is an interesting next step. And I think the cameo feature really differentiates it from so much else. Stay tuned for this week's AI for Human. We'll have lots more. And don't forget tomorrow and then our weird new startup launches. Stay tuned for that.